I'm Chris Ensing. Thanks for joining us. Hundreds of international students trying to study in Windsor now stuck in limbo. Many in India and Pakistan after Canada imposed a travel ban. Now students are trying to figure out if and when they might be able to travel and prepare for the school year. Renelli Anshit has more. In an already chaotic world, it was a huge disruption for me. Arpit Singh Gupta will start his Human Resource Management Program at St. Clair College. But it won't be in Canada because of a flight ban that has halted passenger travel from India and Pakistan for 30 days. For Sangupta, the news has left him uncertain and worried. The only option we see is traveling from India to another country, quarantining ourselves there for 14 days and then traveling to Canada, which is again something that as a student I don't think I can afford and it, it's not right on my part to do that. To be honest, I'll be traveling from India and it's not safe. India is experiencing one of its worst weeks with over 300,000 COVID-19 cases being reported daily. Sengupta was supposed to land here in mid-May, but he spent more than $30,000 to get to Canada. But now he is scrambling to figure out how to reschedule a flight for a ban that may be extended. For him and other students stuck, the college and university is trying to help. Everybody knows this is beyond the control of, of St. Clair College or the students. Again, we're preaching patience, we're, we're answering inquiries, students have to, you know, talk to landlords, we're talking to landlords on their behalf. Um, it, it, it's, it's an organized mess. We are here to support them uh, remotely, including um, here to provide counseling services and support. Um, the COVID pandemic has, has really put a lot of pressure on international students both financially and, and on a mental health basis. I left my job to fly to Canada and I'm unemployed right now. And plus I'm studying and my loan has already started. Uh, the main reason to go to Canada was to understand the culture, to experience it physically. Since I cannot do that, this is already difficult to study online. St. Clair College and the University of Windsor will offer classes and some services remotely. Mernali Anshan, CBC News.